Hello viewers, in this video lecture, we are going to see one topic from the 5th unit, Undecidable Problems about the Turing Machine. We are seeing this for the subject, Theory of Computation. Objectives are to understand the properties of undecidable problems. So first of all, we have to remember about undecidable problems. That the problems which are which can't be decided by the Turing machine are called undecidable problems. So decidable problem means a Turing machine can decide, a Turing machine can conclude that whether a particular language is acceptable or not. So such languages are called as decidable languages or such problems are called decidable problems. Undecidability means if a Turing machine can't be able to decide for the acceptability of the string, then these kind of such kind of problems are called as undecidable problems. Now there is the concept behind the undecidability that is reduction. The reduction is used to prove whether a given language is desirable or not. Reduction is a technique in which if a problem P is reduced to problem P2, then any solution of P2 will also solve the problem P1. In general, if we are having an algorithm to convert an instance of a problem P1 to an instance of the problem P2 that have the same answer, then it is called as P1 reduced P2. Hence, if P1 is not recursive, then P2 is also not recursive. Simply, similarly, if P1 is not recursively enumerable, then P2 is also not recursively enumerable. And we can see one associated theorem. If P1 is reduced to P2, then if P1 is undecidable, then P2 is also undecidable. If P1 is non-recursively enumerable, then P2 is also non-RE. We, we can see the proof for the above theorem. Consider an instance W of P1. Then construct an algorithm such that the algorithm takes instance W as input and converts it into another instance X of P2. P1 is the first problem. W is the instance of P1. P2 is another prob second problem, X is the instance of P2, then we have to construct the algorithm which will convert the W into X. Then apply the algorithm to check whether X is in P2. We have to ensure whether the second instance X, is, X belongs to P2. If the algorithm produces the answer yes, then that means X, is, X belongs to P2. Similarly, we can also say that W is in P1. Since we have obtained P2 after reduction of P1, similarly, if a algorithm answers no, then X is not in P2. If in an algorithm, if we got the answer no, then X is not in P2, then also means W will not be in the P1. Okay, so if the instance X is not available in P2, then definitely the instance W will not also be present in P1. This proves that P1 is undecidable, then P2 will also be undecidable. In the second case, we assume P1 is not recursively enumerable, but P2 is RE, recursively enumerable. Now construct the algorithm to reduce P1 to P2. By this algorithm, P2 will be recognized. That is, there will be the Turing machine that says yes if the input is P2, but may or may not halt for the input which is not in P2. So as we know that one can convert an instance of W in P1 to the instance X of P2, then apply a Turing machine to check whether X is in P2. If X is accepted, that also means W is accepted. This procedure prescribes this procedure describes a Turing machine whose language is P1 if W is in P2 then X is also in P2 
and if w is not in p1 then x is also not in p2 this proves that if p1 is non recursively enumerable then p2 is will also be non recursively enumerable now we can see one more property that is empty and non empty languages there are two types of languages empty and non empty languages let le denotes empty language then lne denotes non empty language let w be our binary string and mi be our turing machine then we can write some formulation according to this empty non empty languages and turing machine if l of mj l of mj means language of the turing machine is equal to 5 then mi does not accept input then wo is in le similarly if l of mj is not the empty language then wo will be in l of ne thus we can say that le equal to it is the language of the turing machine which is equal to 5 then l of ne equal to language of the turing machine which is not equal to 5 and the possible university question is state the properties of recursively enumerable languages